All right, in this video, we're going to be comparing five old mine cushion diamonds. They all have different asset images, a little bit different personalities, and it should make for an interesting comparison. The first one we're looking at is a 0.9 HVS2, and it looks really nice. We might have a little bit of leakage towards the left and right side, um, but all in all, not a bad looking diamond from what we've seen from unbranded old mine diamonds. The second diamond is a 0.9, it's an HVVS1, and you can see there's not as much light leakage going on. Instead we have more blues from that east and west position. So I'm going to be, it's going to be interesting to see if the diamond's going to look dark in that area from the head-on view because that's what usually creates that head and body shadow. From other angles, those would light up really nice. Now, the third diamond I'm bringing in is a 1 carat IVS2, and it's similar to the first diamond. I guess it has a little bit more of a softer, pillowy shape to it. This one's a little bit more squared off, and that's per personal preference. And, you know, I see a little bit more reds going on in this diamond overall compared to this diamond. So, light performance-wise, this one should do a little better. This one's better color-wise from what we see so far. Let me zoom out a little bit. The fourth diamond. It's a 1 carat HVS2. And you can see it's cut a little bit different from the other three diamonds we've viewed so far. Um, I'm seeing some, you know, a little bit of greens and then some nice reds as well. So, you know, we'll see. Maybe we like the symmetry of these first three diamonds. Maybe we'll like the style of this one a little more. Time will tell. And the fourth diamond, oh, actually the fifth diamond, is a 1 carat GSI2. And you will see that there's more red compared to um, the diamond on the left. And let me zoom out. It seems like there's a lot of reflections going on right in the center as well. So this should be a pretty strong performing diamond for the most part. Let me just zoom out. This is where we get all five diamonds side by side. All right, I'm interested to see how they look in real life. So let's get going. All right, so now we're taking a look at the diamonds using fluorescent light. And you can see the first diamond, that was that 0.9 HVS2. Uh, it's very strong, has nice light return coming from the top and bottom. And from the east and west position, you can see it's not as intense as supported by the asset image. But overall, not a bad looking diamond. As I continue on, this was the 0.9, it was an HVVS1, and this one had a lot of blues towards the center, which is nice because it's going to be light return. However, from certain angles, you can see it gets a little bit darker, um, you know, usually from the head-on view, compared to, let's say, the diamond on the left that had more red in it. But from certain angles, they light up, so it's not light leakage, it's just head-body shadow, they call it. As you can see right there, you can see how it gets a little dark. The other one doesn't really have that. But from certain angles, this one's going to light up a little bit stronger, especially from the east and west position, as we see right here. Let's continue on. All right, the third diamond. That was a 1 carat IVS2. Originally, we were looking at H color diamonds. I threw in an I. Uh, just to show you, you can see the size difference. Some people might like that size upgrade. Some people might want the color upgrade in the H's. It's personal preference. Yeah, you can see all three. Now, as I move on, we're going to be viewing the fourth diamond. That was the one that was less symmetrical, I would say. And it had strong reds um, in the center. You could see all that good reflection going on. Now, as you get to the outside, there was more greens. Uh, from the asset image. So you can see it's a little bit less bright up here than compared to this one, let's say, that had more reds. Now they're both one carat as well. Um, this one definitely has the advantage in size, I would say. Size and symmetry and just overall brilliance. Now the last diamond I'm bringing in is my favorite cut one out of the group. You can see we have all the facets lighting up the bottom one, um, that's just due to the uh, the reflection of the tray. If I spun it upside down, it would be lighting up just like the top one would. But yeah, this is a nice, balanced, well-cut diamond. This was a 1 carat. It was a G SI2. 
It's an SI2, but it's 100% eye clean. So it comes in at a great value, visually, probably for what you're looking for. If you're okay with having an SI2, under the microscope you'll see something, but to the human eye, it looks like a VS. And you can see, yeah, it's, it has the size upgrade once again, the brilliance upgrade, and the symmetry. Yeah, this one I would say has the best cut quality, but they all have, you know, different pros and cons to them. All right, now we're going to be looking at the first two diamonds once again. We're using natural daylight. It's a little bit cloudy outside, but any bit helps. And once again, the first diamond, north and south, we're getting some really good light performance. The second diamond, depending on the angle, some of those facets light up. From the head-on view, sometimes it could look dark, like that. It really depends. All right, now here's the third and fourth diamond we were viewing. And the third diamond looks pretty bright all the way around. You know, some leakage going on uh, towards the left and right, kind of like the first one. Maybe a little less. And then the diamond on the right, that's the one that was a little bit unsymmetrical compared to the others. I don't know if it's as bright, you know, it just doesn't seem as bright along the outside. And that's all those greens compared to a little bit more reds, as you see in the other diamonds. They're also both one carat. You might see a slight size difference, however. All right, and in this final comparison, I kept the one carat IVS2. That was like diamond number three out of five. I'm kind of shaking it right now. And I put the 104 GSI2 in the mix. That's the diamond on the right. You're gonna see all the facets light up as supported by the asset image. So it is the best cut diamond out of them all. This one's going to catch the most people's eyes. Uh, it's going to have the brightest, most intense light coming back at you. It's also an eye clean SI2. And that helped keep the price down. And visually you're losing nothing from it. Under the microscope you might find a few inclusions. But to the human eye, it looks like a VS. Just because of the overall optics, I would go for the one I'm shaking now, the last one, out of all five we saw. I think it's going to be the brightest, most impressive looking diamond out of the batch. And well, that's just my opinion. You know, everyone has different personal preferences as to what they like. But we thank you for watching the video. We hope it helped.